everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have a decluttering video. Um, after starting the process, if you, you know, start watching this declutter, I thought I was going to do everything all at once um, and just declutter my entire collection all at once, but then I realized how much stuff I had and that I need to break it up into parts. So we are going to be breaking my decluttering series up. Um, uh, first, we're gonna start off with lips today. I have a bunch of lip products that I've had in my collection. I think I did a decluttering, I wanna say like right before Eli came, nesting mode. And obviously I'm in nesting mode now because I just want to purge everything. Um, so I went through all my lip products and just got old things, um, things I just haven't touched. Maybe I got it in like a PR package and I just want to pass on. Um, so I have a bunch of that kind of stuff and I just kind of go through and share with you guys really quickly um, how I decluttered it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. If not, let me know. I think the next time I do this, the next time, the next decluttering video I'm going to do is probably going to be face products. Um, and I'm just going to go through all of my face products all at once. And I'm going to show it to you guys on camera, like what I'm actually getting rid of and what I'm not. So I apologize. I didn't do that with this video, but I hope you guys still enjoy watching me get rid of all my junk and keeping the good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I still have my Ikea, whatever this is, the Alex line drawer that everybody has. Um, I feel like everyone has this. But it is really nice to store stuff. Um, and I find that sometimes I tend to like overstuff these. And that's what I feel like right now. I want to be able to pull out a drawer and just be able to see everything that I have in there rather than things kind of stacked on top of each other and it be really cluttered. My lip drawer is the worst. Um, I have so many lip products that just need to go and there's so many that I'm not using so I need to get rid of them. That's probably my worst drawer. Um, the rest of the drawer is actually my foundation concealer drawer is pretty good. We're gonna go through it but the lip drawer is the worst. <laughs> Let me tell you it's I think I think that's where we're gonna start. So I just want to show you guys kind of like a before of what it looks like. Yes, it's a disaster. Like I literally have lip products everywhere. I cannot see anything. I'm not using half of this stuff. So I just want to like go through, see what we have, get rid of stuff, um, pass things along if they're still good, and just get this cleaner looking. Um, I'm not super a fan of these little like plasticky things. I would wouldn't mind getting rid of them, but it does keep it kind of organized and I just need to figure out how to organize it, especially once I get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so first things first, right in this little corner, I have kind of gotten like a bunch of things from Fresh and I need to go through this because this is like ridiculous. Like I literally have all this stuff that hasn't, um, well this and this have been used. Um, I just don't know why I'm keeping the boxes. So we'll put the boxes up there. Um, and then I have these new little lip treatments that I just got in the mail. I am going to keep, like I said, I like all this stuff, but I think I'm going to pass some stuff on. Um, maybe do some giveaways or things like that, that I just know that I just won't use all these things. Like I know I won't. Um, and I'm not going to use every single color of everything. So I'm going to probably just pick out the color I want and then pass things along and get rid of stuff here. I also have a Clinique baby tint and then a Buxom Flum lip cream that haven't even been opened. Um, I'm going to figure out if I want to keep, I think I'm going to keep the Buxom one. Um, I have need to figure out if I'm going to keep this one or not. So yeah. Okay. Uh, this is how I kind of organize it. I keep kind of like lip pencils and things that are in like, um, this form, like a balm stick in here, but I have like random, like, I have random things in here, I feel like. Um, these are all of my like nicer lip products in here, things that I use. I think I reach for this area the most. Um, I have all like drugstore lip products back there and then I have a mixture of like NYX Butter Glosses and um, 
little tiny chubby sticks all over. So I need to go through that and kind of clean out these and kind of organize it. Um, the other thing I do have in here are sprays. All of my sprays are in here like lined on the sides. Um, so I will go through that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just, this is going to be like a time lapse. I'm going to um, kind of split everything up. So I'm going to make a like giveaway pile, a um, just kind of toss pile, and then things that I'm going to keep. Also going to make a maybe pile. I'm going to go through that at the end and kind of separate it that way as well. these elf brush cleaner wipes in there um, I'm definitely gonna keep these these are awesome for travel um, they just come in like these little pouches or whatever and you can clean your brushes with them so I really like kind of taking those and throwing those if um, we ever travel they're really nice to clean brushes I will also quickly show you guys the mists I have. I have the Pixie Glow Mist, which I do like. Um, and I'm keeping all my mists, really, because I actually decluttered my mists um, probably a couple weeks ago and got rid of just a bunch of mists um, and, like, face sprays that I had and that I just don't use and need. Um, but I do like the Pixie Glow Mist. Um, and then I have my It Cosmetics Brush Bath, which isn't a face mist, but... It is like the best brush cleaner um, for like spot cleaning. It's so good. Um, and then I also have my Smashbox, what is this, primer water. And then I have my MAC Fix Plus. And of course I have my All Nighter Spray. So I'm not getting rid of any of these. These are amazing. Okay, so the overview. These are things that are still not bad um, that I might pass along to other people, uh, maybe some things that might be in a giveaway, um, things of that nature, and then I need to decide on those. Those are just old and need to be tossed, um, and then I'll show you guys what I have left over. Okay, so here is now the overview. Um, wow, I feel like... 10 times lighter. <laughs> it's so much easier to go through this stuff. I think I might now like split things up because there's like barely anything in here and barely anything back there. So I might split things up a little differently um, now that I have more space. Oh, it's so nice to like be able to see things. Okay, these are all the maybes that I had. I think I am going to keep the Too Faced Melted in Sugar. I do tend to gravitate towards this sometimes, so I think I am going to keep that one. Um, this Revlon one, I don't know. I've had it for so long. I think I need to get rid of it. It's probably old and really gross. Um, this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm. Same, same thing. I've had this one forever. So I think I'm going to toss this one. Um, and then these three, I've had these a long time too, but I don't have anything that's like really colorful in my collection. As you can see, it's like pretty much all nudes now, but that's pretty much what I only wear. But it is nice if I want a little bit of color because I don't wear like bold lips or anything. So I think I will keep these. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep them bad to say but I think I'm gonna keep them okay so I do have more lip products yes I think we might have to do just a lip declutter for this video it's like out of control like it's really bad um so I have all these lip products this sits out um on here on my little malm desk here and I really I gravitate towards these way more um, than I do even in my drawer I will go in my drawer and I tend to pull 
um, from that green little plastic bin that I showed you at the beginning. That's that's the one little area that I feel like I pull from the most if I go in there. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I pretty much just grab from here if I just want like a good lipstick. But there are some things that I do not grab here that I need to get rid of. So let's go through. Like why does one need all these? Like look at this. This is insane. This is insane. I needed to do this so bad. <laughs> of much from this but I kind of knew that because like I said these are the ones I gravitate towards the most um there's some colors in here that honestly like this one gazpacho by um bite beauty it's a bright red I don't wear red lipstick like ever but if I do wear a red lipstick I want to have one on hand that's really nice and this one's really good and it's the only red lipstick that I have so I will keep that just for that reason um just to have an option and then this one it's very similar to like these two we're in. They're really dark and deep and I don't wear them that often. Um, but sometimes during like the winter fall I will throw on a lip like this. So um, I just want nicer options when I do want that to be able to have that darker lip. So it's the only reason I'm keeping them. Otherwise it's pretty much just nudes. <laughs> 